Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Undertale. In that last episode, we won, but we didn't win because not everyone's happy and things kind of suck. But Flowey, he helped us. We did the right thing and he decided to help us. And by helping us, he may have given us a way to get through this better. To get a better ending. And that's what we'll do. We'll get that better ending. <laughs> Honestly, I'm surprised why we decided to help us like that. To tell us there might be a better way. We are, of course, assuming Flowey isn't lying. But Flowey's right. If we had just went through not caring about anyone, we'd probably be happier with that ending. We wouldn't care about how everyone felt. We honestly probably wouldn't care less about how they felt. But... What? Hey, uh, this is Undyne. Shut up, Papyrus. This was your idea. Human, you have to deliver something for me. Uh, please? I met Snowden in front of Papyrus's. See ya, punk. Looks like... Right. I remember him mentioning. Sans told us way earlier in the game, remember? Papyrus is being talked to by a yellow flower. And that wasn't just any yellow flower. It was obviously Flowey. That means Flowey probably went to talk to Papyrus and convince him to help. So Flowey is trying to help us. So like I was saying, we're actually working towards a better end. An end where everyone could be happy. Maybe one where we might save Asgore. Then we're off. I have no idea what would happen right now. I have no idea at all what would happen now if we were to go and try to I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm sorry, guys. My brain's overloading. Um. I have no idea what would happen right now if we went to fight Asgore normally. Would Flowey still do the same thing? Hey, I have something to give you. But you're caring way too much. Not a problem. Uh. <laughs> I like how we made a snow... A snowman very happy, and that was what we got for that. Stained apron, uh, butterscotch pie, bandage, spider donut. Really, I can put all this stuff away. Um, so, I have a favor to ask you. Uh, I, I need you to deliver this letter to Dr. Alphys. Huh? Why don't I do it myself? Uh, well... It's kind of personal, but we're friends, so I'll tell you. Hotland sucks. I don't ever want to go over there. So here you go. You got Undyne's letter. Oh, and if you read it, I'll kill you. Thanks so much. You're the best. Alright. So Undyne has a letter for us to deliver. Cool. Trella, care for a ride? Where we go today? Trella, what's inside an acorn? It's really just a mystery. I have no idea what that has to do with anything. But alright. Come again sometime, tra la la. Sing, yeah, okay. Wait, what? Okay, I thought that was 
Never mind. The door has no mail slot. Slide the letter under? Yeah. You slide the letter under the door and give it a knock. Uh, oh, no. Is that another letter? I don't want to open it. Can't I just slide it back out? No. I can't keep doing this. I'll read this one. Um, it's shut kind of strongly, isn't it? Wait a second. Hey, if this is a joke, it's... Oh my god. Did you write this letter? It wasn't signed, so I had no idea who could have... Oh my god, oh no. That's adorable. And I had no idea you, um, wrote that way. It's surprising, too. After all the gross stuff I did, I don't really deserve to be forgiven. Much less, um, this. And so passionately, too. You know what? Okay, I'll, I'll do it. It's the least I can do to make it up to you. Yeah, let's go on a... Oh my god, that's so cute! Undyne was trying to go on a date with Alphys! Dating start. Question mark? Uh, sorry. I'm still getting dressed. How do I look? My friend helped me pick this out this dress. She's got a great sense of, uh... Um, anyway, let's do this thing. Dating start. Hey, wait. Actually, we still can't start the date yet. Dating stop? <laughs> um, I've got to give you items to raise your affection statistic first. That'll increase the chance of success welcome to the date. Right? Anyway, don't worry, I've prepared. I've been stockpiling gifts in anticipation for a date like this. First, I've got, uh, some metal armor polish. Uh, maybe you can't use that. But, I also bought some waterproof cream for your scales. Your, uh, scales. Um, well, <laughs> how about this magnificent spear repair kit that I... Uh, hey, let's forget about the items. Let's just start off the date. Dating start! Yeah, let's, uh, date! Uh, do you like anime? Yes. Hey, me too! Hey, let's, uh, go somewhere. But where's a good place to go on a date? I've got it. Let's go to the garbage dump. <laughs> so you're gonna hang out with my people? Here we are. This is where Undyne and I come all the time. We find all sorts of great stuff here. <laughs> She's really, uh... Oh no. That's her over there. I can't be seen on a date with you. Why? Because, uh... Well... Oh no, here she comes. Hey, there you are. I, uh, realized if you deliver that thing, it might be a bad idea. So I'm gonna do it. Give it to me. Huh? You don't have it? Nah. <laughs> Have you at least seen her? Uh, yes. Yes? So she's somewhere around here. Thanks, I'll keep looking. Oh my god. Well, I guess it's obvious, huh? I, uh, really like her. I mean, more than I like other people. I'm sorry, I just figured, you know, it'd be fun to go on, on like, a cute kind of pretend date with you <laughs> to make you feel better. Well, it sounds even worse when I put it like that. I'm sorry, I messed up again. I'm the person I am um, really want to go on a date with. But I mean, she's way out of my league. Not that you aren't, um, cool. But Undyne, she's so confident and strong and funny. Are you saying I'm not those things? I am amazing, thank you much. Thank you much? Fuck. <laughs> I'm just a nobody. A fraud. I'm the royal scientist, but all I've ever done is hurt people. I've told her so many lies. She thinks I'm... She thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am. If she gets close to me, she'll... She'll find out the truth about me. What should I do? Tell her the truth. The truth? But if I tell her that, she'll hate me. Isn't it better this way? To live a lie where both people are happy? 
or truth where neither of us are? They say be yourself, but I don't really like who myself is. I'd rather just be whatever makes people like me. <laughs> no, you're right. Every day I'm scared. Scared what will happen if people learn the truth on their own. They'll all get hurt because of me. But how can I tell Undyne the truth? I don't have the confidence. I'm gonna mess it up. How can I practice? Obviously, let's roleplay. Roleplay? That actually sounds kind of fun. Okay, which one of us will be Undyne? Uh, I'll be Undyne. Let's be fair. I'm pretty cool and confident. Oh, right. Obviously. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Hi, Undyne. How are you doing today? You're cute. Th thanks! You say that to me a lot, and I never know what to say. But, you know, you're just... I mean it platonically, because we're just friends. <laughs> uh, so I'd like to, um, talk to you about something. <laughs> then she kisses you. What? I'm done with never, uh... <clears throat> I kiss her back. Softly. I, I look gently in her eyes. I start hovering. <laughs> Undyne, I love you. Undyne, kiss me again, Undyne. What did you just say? <laughs> I'm sorry, guys, I'm howling. Undyne, I was just... Hey, whoa, wait a second. Your outfit's really cute. What's the occasion? Wait a second. Are you two on a date? Uh, yes! I mean, uh, no! I mean, we were, but, I mean, actually, we were only romantically role-playing as you. What? <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, Undyne, I, I've been lying to you. What? About what? About, well, everything. I told you that seed was, like, scientifically important, but really I just used it to make ice cream. And those human history books I keep reading, those are just dorky comic books. And the history movies, those... Those are just, uh, anime. And those aren't real. And that time I told you I was busy with work on the phone, I was just eating frozen yogurt in my gym, is that time I... Alphys? I... I just wanted to impress you. I just wanted to think I was smart and cool. That I wasn't some nerdy loser. Alphys? Undyne, I... I really think you're neat, okay? Alphys... No words now. Only dicks. <laughs> Sorry, you won't understand that. Oh no, she's about to suplex her. Oh no, she dunked her in the trash. Alphys? I think you're neat too, I guess. But you've got to realize, most of what you said really doesn't matter to me. I don't really care if you're watching kid cartoons or reading history books. To me, all of that stuff is just nerdy crap. What I really like about you is that you're passionate. You're analytical. It doesn't matter what it is, you care about it. 100% at maximum power! So, you don't have to lie to me. I don't want to have to lie to you about it anymore. Alphys, I want to I want to help you become happy with who you are. And I know just the training you need to do that. I died, you... You're gonna train me? <laughs> what? Me? Oh no. Oh no! Nah, I'm gonna get Papyrus to do it! <laughs> get those bones shaking! It's time to jog 100 laps! Hooting. Hooting about how great we are! Ready? I'm about to start the timer! Undyne, I'll do my best. Oh my god! She was kidding, right? Those cartoons, those comics, those are still real, right? Anime's real, right? Ah. Uh, uh, I mean, anime is real. <laughs> I'm not saying that it actually happened, but anime's real. <laughs> I knew it! Gigantic swords, magical princesses, here I come! Uh, thanks for taking care of Halfus. I didn't get to say what I wanted to, but things seem like they're going to be to get better for her. Well, I gotta go catch up with them. Later. Oh, 
Oh no. Oh no. Piles of garbage. There are quite a few brands you recognize. For taking a worthless garbage fills you with determination. <laughs> Alright guys, I think that's probably enough for this episode. So guys, next time on Let's Play Undertale. Oh. It's a DVD case for an anime. Desperate claw marks cover the edges. Howdy! If it isn't my good friend who trusts me, this is Papyrus, your also mutual friend. Alphys and I tra finished our training early. Very early. So I sent her home very home. Uh, now, I feel strongly and for no apparent reason you should also go there to her lab house. I only have only good feelings about this. Goodbye. Okay, uh, Flowey is definitely manipulating Papyrus at this point. Feel calm and tranquility you're filled with determination. I'm gonna drop by Blue's house real quick and maybe see if Metaton's home? Metaton is not home. Is Blue doing anything interesting? Okay, well, it's too bad that you don't have that finished yet. Now, like I was saying, guys, next time on Let's Play Undertale, we'll be moving on. We still are trying to get that best ending, and I can tell when Papyrus is actually doing what Flowey's telling him to. I'll see you guys next time. tra la, -la care for a ride? Then we're off.